So the dispatchers uh, within headquarters are located in what's called the System Operation Control Center, or SOC. Uh, within an SOC is comprised of three departments, uh, dispatch, crew scheduling, and maintenance control. Uh, all three of those departments have to interact with each other um, on a daily basis to ensure the safe operation of every flight. I plan out a flight, figure out its fuel load, its direction, flight level, how it gets from point A to point B. I manage the flight. The coordinators on that side manage the system. Plane breaks, they figure out if they can do swaps, substitute equipment, get reposition flights, extra planes that are sitting in Indianapolis that we can then move to replace that broken aircraft. We do the flight monitor. After taking off, we are continuously communicate with our pilot and we analyze the weather based on the en route. If we see any weather changes, we, we communicate with our pilot to operate a safe flight. We also delay flight based on uh, the weather. I had a flight that was delayed two and a half hours today, and they're back on time. And we help to do that because we plan the flights the right way to get that stuff done so they can get to the gates, they can get what they need, and they can get back on time. The Republic Dispatch Apprenticeship Program is currently the only dispatch certification course offered in the state of Indiana. It really creates a good opportunity for those local to get into the field of aviation and, and see the opportunity that the dispatch profession provides. I knew I was interested in operations SOC and I went to Republic. I had worked for Republic a couple of years ago, so they were my first choice and living in Indiana. And I saw the Jefferson program and I looked into dispatch and I just knew it was for me immediately. It was such an amazing opportunity that I really couldn't pass up. It's a six-week course that's very demanding. Uh, it, it's a eight to five, Monday through Friday, but the expectation is you're gonna go home and study for additional two hours each night and probably five to 10 hours combined on the weekends. And, and hopefully through that six weeks, uh, you complete that with a, uh, an expectation to understand what it all entails and it culminates with the, uh, the practical and oral with the FAA completed and you're leaving with a, a dispatch certificate. What I always kept telling myself was it's not law school, it's not three years. It's, it's six weeks and then you have the, you know, the two months here on the job. It's like it's three months of my life. And if I just fully put myself into it, I can commit to that for three months. From what I understand about it, the apprenticeship program is you don't need any aviation experience at all. Um, we actually had one of the individuals that is in today's current class that were a chef. And so if you're good at problem solving, come on. So when, when I look into what sets us apart you know, from other airlines, other operations. Uh, for me, that secret sauce is, is our people. It's the best job in the world, honestly. I've been in aviation for going on almost 15 years now. I've been uh, AMP, I was ground crew, I was an ops supervisor, I was a supervisor for ground, and this is, this is it. Like, we may have all gone to dispatch school, but we all have such unique backgrounds. Like, it is amazing. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> Dispatch, this is Hannah Lapida speaking. There's three words we don't use in the SOC. Bored, how can this get worse, and I'm tired. Don't ever say bored in the SOC. People are giving me dirty looks right now.